I'm not sure how to exactly start this video because I just checked my watch. It's about uh, half past a week since I uploaded last. I mean, I feel like a dick, but I just needed to take some time uh, for myself. Add some stuff that I needed to do, and there really is no excuse. It's just the fact that I needed to sit down and do it. One of those fucking things, man. I mean, I just needed my week-long sabbatical to do stupid shit. No one knows what the word sabbatical means. If you guys didn't know, I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> like, uh, I, I used to do the extra credit on homework for fun. I used to read books for fun. Had the good grades, teachers loved me. Huge queer. Everyone hated me. No, but sabbatical is like a vacation. And that's just what that is. But I was telling this story in my stream a few days ago, and if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, it's uh, twitch.tv backslash nuda. I'll actually be streaming right after this video goes up, but I told this story in there the other day, really late at night, to only, I mean, it was a little over 100 people. Well, this story is about how I flooded and ruined a $5,000 <laughs> hotel room. I mean, I guess the room really wasn't $5,000, it was the damages I caused, it was $5,000, but eh, yeah, shit happens. So it was during the summer when I was on my little vacation, and it wasn't really a vacation, it was just you know, general bitching at me a lot and a lot of working. So we're in London and we were there to meet up at Twitter and uh, it was right after the day of Twitter. You know, we met up at the Twitter offices in Twitter UK. I just said Twitter 400 fucking times. But you know, we had a really good day and the meeting went uh, very well for at least general and crude. I say that because they have something that I still don't. Uh, I'm not even gonna bitch about it. Who the fuck am I kidding? I am depressed! No, but I was there, if you guys know him, Storm Mito, uh, one of the best guys I know, honest to god. He is one of my favorite people I've met via YouTube. So me and Mito were like, fuck it, let's go do something stupid because we had a really good day. I mean, honestly, we, there, there was no real negative outcome that we were looking for, we, so I mean, we went to a casino. So we go there and I lose a bunch of money, and then at the very end, Mito talks me into going all in on red and... Coincidentally enough, we win a bunch of money. I mean, it really wasn't that much. It was like a thousand pounds. Ha <laughs> ha! Nuda pounds thousand. Yeah, I, I, I can only imagine the comments. Go ahead and have a fucking heyday with it. So, you know, to celebrate a little bit further, we had been uh, legally, what we are 18, we had been legally uh, consuming a lot of alcohol. <laughs> It wasn't that much, but uh, we, we went out to dinner, you know, we had, you know, we had some drinks, you know, it was a good day. We had a really good day and a really good meeting. So we get back to the hotel and, you know, we had some leftovers and I was like, fuck, you know, I need to record a video. To this day, I'm still not very good at that. But General, the being the pussy he is, he ends up going to bed and Mito, who is... You know, just a tad bit intoxicated. Also goes to bed. But I walk around the hotel and I record my video. The video's still up. I mean, it's a pretty fun day. Well, a little bit before recording my video, uh, I went and I was gonna go take a shower because I was feeling kind of gross. And uh, I woke Jason up and he was bitching at me because oh, I woke him up and he was being a fucking idiot. So I threw all of his, all of his leftovers in uh, in the shower. Uh, not only that, but the hotel room came with a complimentary bag of trail mix in which I dumped all of it all over the shower. Uh, I picked the drain up out of the shower. He you know, like it had a little domed drain, lifted it up, and uh, Jason's eight ounce steak <laughs> was then placed in the uh, in the drain, as were his onion rings. <laughs> just some real stupid shit. But hey, you know what? It, it was fun. It, it just goes to show you that I am the worst person to travel with. It, it's, it's kind of notorious at this point. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do my video before I shower, so that way I can just shower and go to bed, and then we'll wake up tomorrow and do the same thing again. Didn't... <laughs> Did, it didn't at all work out like that. So as I'm going to walk around my video, I forget that I put all of Jason's leftovers in the shower and that there's a fucking steak and onion rings blocking the drain. Now, had I remembered this, that, that night would have gone according to plan, but uh, I left the shower on and I vlogged for about four hours. <laughs> And on top of the four hours, I then proceeded to edit the vlog, which took about an hour, hour and a half. And then I sat there and finished the tags, the titling, the description and shit while it uploaded, which was another, you know, another 45 minutes, hour. At this point, the shower <laughs> has been running for six hours. Now, a shower that has been running for six hours with a clogged drain, I, 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 can, I can honestly hope all of you see where this is going. Because in the bathroom, they had this drain under the sink, that was meant for, you know, if the sink would, were to bust, you know, it wouldn't go all out into the the actual area. If you guys watch the vlog, you'll see what I'm talking about. But so there's a drain under the sink that's collecting all this water that's flowing out of the shower. And it came to a point after about two hours that it just couldn't catch the water anymore. There was too much. So I get up to go take my shower, completely forget that it's on, and step into about three inches of fucking water. I mean, it wasn't just a small little flood. It was all the way into the room, 
all up the walls. It had been leaking under our door and I was completely oblivious. I was so focused on my video. That should just show you how, how hard I work on my videos. So my ankle goes, you know, it, it, it goes to about, I, I'd say a little above my ankle in the water. I immediately realized I'm fucked. There's no, like, you know, I like in, in all of our hotel rooms, I tend to do something stupid. You know, I'll trash the bathroom. I'll, I'll put like sausage in Jason's pillow. Oh, okay. You guys don't know about, okay. So when we were in Germany, uh, there were these little like liquid sausages. It was fucking disgusting. Uh, they had them for breakfast. It was these like sausages and you like cut them open like pudding. Fucking gross. It, it really was disgusting. And I, I took a bunch of them and I threw them all over General's door. Like it, I'll, I'll, I'll do a different story about that. So at this point I am shaking with like fear because this is for one a very expensive hotel room in a very expensive hotel and I have proceeded to cause thousands of thousands of dollars in damages so I opened the door to go out into the hallway to FaceTime Brian and I was and yeah I was gonna be like what the fuck do I do? I call Brian and he's streaming and he's like okay well, I'm, I mean what, what do you want? Because <laughs> he's in the middle of a stream and I was like okay just look at this and tell me what I should do. I then point my camera at the floor and show him just how much water there is, open the door and it fucking rushes out into the hallway. Like it just pours. So he starts hysterically laughing and he and he knows I'm fucked. And him laughing, actually, uh, it, it wakes up General. Now normally I wouldn't care, but uh, the, the hotel room was under his name. So he, he was, little pissed and you know he wakes up and he's like what is he laughing at and he has no idea because he hasn't looked at the floor and i was like jason nothing is wrong go back to bed we're fine he's like well i have to use the bathroom and i was like fuck like does it get worse no note to everyone watching this don't ever ask yourself that you know in a situation anywhere remotely close to that because it, it does and it will jason then uh puts his foot in the water and fucking scream like a little bitch and it was funny as hell he screams so loud it wakes up Mito and Mito just sits up and is like what the fuck all of our luggage is wet <laughs> all of our clothes everything like we also didn't have any way of drying these because the London Hotel apparently didn't have a washer or functioning fucking dryer or none that they let us know of or use so they're both up now and Mito just doesn't care <laughs> Mito looks at me, looks at General, looks at the floor, and just goes, fuck. And then lays back down and goes to bed. So General screams, he's like, you gotta fucking fix it. I'm like, look, Jason, just sit down. I'm gonna fix this, and I'm gonna do it for free. When I tell you I can do something, I can do just about anything. I'm a very, very good... I was gonna say liar, but that makes me sound bad. But I'm a very good negotiator, which in hindsight is... It also makes a really good liar, so yeah. <laughs> but I was like, okay, so this is what we'll do. So I take all of his leftovers and I like started tearing shit up and I threw it at the toilet and then I fucking like curb stomp the toilet so it comes off its hinges. You know, I, I could have, you know, gone without going the extra mile, but honestly, you know, I, it took a few times to kick it. You know, it wasn't just one kick, it, it was it was a few. And also, don't do not do that. <laughs> that. That is a lot of money that, uh, that you're gonna have to pay. So then, I've already turned off the shower, so the water's just sitting there. And I was like, okay, all right, we're gonna call the hotel service and we're gonna be like, look, gonna give them the whole story and it's gonna be fucking awesome. And we're gonna get out of this for free. And he's looking at me like, look, I don't fucking care. I'm gonna tell the truth and you're gonna pay for me. And I was like, all right, we'll do it my way first. And then if you wanna keep being a little pussy bitch, then we'll do it your way. So he listened to me, you know, it's reasonable at that point, he's your fuck. So I called the hotel, like the, the guy downstairs and I was like, look, we were all asleep and the hotel, like the, the, the water line busted and our toilet overflowed while we were asleep and there's water everywhere and you need to get up here now. Let me tell you, I'm a fucking genius. I am hands down the smartest man alive. Notice how my hands were inadvertently up while saying, okay, and it, aside the point. So the dude fucking books it up the stairs. He's like, oh, okay, what happened? You know, he's got towels with him and shit as if that's gonna do anything. And in the picture I'm about to show you, you can see where it starts to get really, really fucking bad. So as you'll notice in the carpet right here, the floor starts to indent. And what we didn't know at the time was, I had broken the water pipe because it had backed up so much. So all that excess water was now shooting and laying in the floor. And it started to fucking droop because of the added weight and the added water. The room below us, it started to seep down into their fucking room. So that it's like, oh my God, this is gonna be so much money. I mean, oh, th this is bad. 
You guys are gonna have to pay a lot of money for this. And I'm looking at him and I was like, well, if I didn't wake up, then there's a good chance that I could have drowned or been seriously injured. Immediately, General's ears perk up at the sign of him getting something for free and he's, yeah, we actually could. We, we definitely could have been seriously injured. You know, he, he's onto something. He, we, you know, we really could have been hurt by this water, this, this thing that wasn't our fault. Jason, I know you're gonna watch this video. Next time, when something happens, leave the fucking talking to me. I am a good bullshitter. You are stupid. But the dude looks at us, and he's like, fuck. <laughs> you know, these guys are right. Like, if they didn't wake up, this is a big lawsuit on our hands. If this goes public and we fucked up, then we're hit. So the guy's like, all right, get your luggage, get everything that you can salvage, and get out. Just go. And I was like, well, we have a flight in the morning. You know, we can just leave. And he's like, yeah, okay, yeah, just go. It, it, it's fine. We'll cover everything. So, I mean, I guess the moral of the story is... Lying will get you free things. That's not good to promote to kids. Okay, uh, if you're gonna do something stupid, record it so you don't have to make videos explaining it. There, there's the <laughs> moral. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and if you're new, subscribe. And if you guys aren't already, follow me on Instagram. It's just Instagram.com, you know, at Nuda. It's just at Nuda. Uh, uh, that's all. That's it. Literally it. I just really, really like putting shitty old pictures of me on Instagram. So I'm sure you guys can have some fun with that. Also, a lot of you guys were tweeting at me stuff, you know, like what happened like when you actually left Red and stuff like that. I mean, it, it, it's it's a long time ago. It was almost a year ago. And you guys really wanted to know how, like, I told them I was leaving and shit like that. You know, it's like it was a long time. No, it, it really wasn't. I, I mean, I just came up on a call with the leaders. And I was like, look, bitch. Um, I'm riding solo, I'm riding solo